Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakakwadash. A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopefully let Akim out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line of your lineage goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Hey, Shalom. It's your brother Halakia from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah with another lesson. And in this lesson, we're going to go into being made like unto you how a shot, man. Because this, this is where our journey leads. When it's all said and done, you see, when you, when, you really st when, you, when, you, when you step back and just, like, cancel out all the bullshit that, that goes on around us, man. All the trials and tribulations, all the suffering. You see, the end goal is to be what? Made as your how is. And what is that? Immortal completely righteous you see in the god in a in a, in, a, in, a, in a state of being a god again this is where we're going as the nation of israel this is where we're going as the men of the lord hell hey all the true believers we're on the road to immortality man you see and we say the water to, to the heavenly father yahweh in the name of his son yahweh shah because this has been made known unto us and we have a different hope burning in us, you see, than everyone else. Everyone else's hope is what? Oh, Trump get back in, get back in office. We can get our money back, going back uh, in the right way. We can get our economy fixed, you see, so forth and so on. They, they, that's where their hope lies, you see. Their hope lies in the place that is going to be destroyed according to the Most High's will. You see that? Not us, man. Our hope lies in being it lies in the what being made like unto Yahweh Shai. And that's exactly what we're that's where we're headed, man. You see? That's the will of the most high. So it says what? So we're gonna start here in John 1 and 3. It says, Children of the Most High love one another. Verse 1 it says, What? Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of the Most High. Therefore, the world know of us not because it knew him not. And this is why we're hated in this world, man. Our family members hate us. You see, you brothers who have women, they hate you. You see, they detest you. They're, they're just tolerating you <laughs> if they're with you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you ladies, you, 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 you Israelite sisters, you might be with a nigga who don't believe he probably tired of you hearing about. He probably tired of you saying that we ain't eating no pork or whatever, <laughs> whatever it may be. But it's it's it, it, it's this way because we have the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah upon us in this wicked ass world, man. You see, we have the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah upon us in this wicked ass world, and that causes us to be looked down upon. That causes us to be uh, 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 looked at as widows or lames. You see. It's because we're not going along with the wickedness that everyone else is doing. You've seen it. We we are out here upholding the most high's laws as best as we can. We tell the motherfuckers we don't eat pork. They look at you like you got ten heads. You see? I know I done told niggas, man, hell no, nah, that, that 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 chick got a that chick got a man. I can't fuck with her. And what 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 did that what did that lame man nigga say? Man shit, fuck that shit. I'll fuck the shit out of her. I don't give a fuck she got a man or not. That's off, man. You see? <laughs> you see? And why, why are they in that spirit? It's because they don't know the Most High. They don't understand His ways because His ways are not being taught in the earth. You see, but for us, the Most High has bestowed His love upon us, man. He's put His spirit upon us, and now we understand right from wrong. And we're trying to walk as uprightly as we possibly can. Being conformed to the image of His Son. Oh, let me get that real. Let me get that real quick. Yup. Romans 8 and 9, uh, 29, it says what? For whom he did for know, he did also predestinate to be conformed 
to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn of among many brothers. So this is this is being predestined uh, for us, pre, uh, 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 yeah, pre, uh, predestined for us from the beginning to walk in the spirit, man. And if you notice, when you was in, even when you was in the world, people looked at you as weird. You, you it was something different about you, something different than everybody else. Now we was fucking up in the world, but it's still something different about us, man. And now we understand why, because it, it was always meant for us to be brought into this fold. You see, to be conformed into the image of, of Yahweh Shai. And walked as he walked on the earth. You see? You see that? That's what it's been. So this is why we're shunned in this world. People don't like to be around us because they know we're going to say something about the truth. You see? Or we're going to look at them sideways if they they do some, do some off shit. Because they know they're doing wrong, but they still... You know, man, you know what it is. So let's go back. So it says what? Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of the Most High. Do you understand what that means, man? We are being called the sons of the Most High again. The Most High is allowing us to return back unto him through Yahweh Shah. Do you understand what that means? <laughs> you see? Yahweh, the Heavenly Father Yahweh is allowing us to return back unto him through Yahweh Shah. That's major, man. That's major. We, hey, we're, we're, being ex, we're, we're being exalted, man. The Most High is bringing us up on uh, in that exalted state each and every day that passes. It says, what? Well, therefore the world knoweth us not because it knew of him not. And this is why. You see, we stand out like sore thumbs in this society. It's because we're not moving according to the spirit of this world. We're moving according to the spirit of the heavens, man. We're moving according to the righteousness or, or, or the righteous almighty power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. When everybody else is out here moving in the wrong spirit. You see, we're about to come into this uh this wicked ass trifecta of what? Uh, Thanksgiving, or uh, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. And guess what the world is going to be doing? I hear in the spirit, you see, uh, I hear in the spirit of those wicked ass holidays, you see, in the spirit of those false idols that comes with uh, worshiping those holidays or celebrating those holidays. Guess what spirit we're going to be in? We're going to be in the spirit of uh, uh, serving Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, man. You see? The world don't know the most high, but we do, man. We understand his will. We, under we understand what's about to go down. We understand that we're going to be made into gods again, man. Just like our Lord Yahweh shot before us. Now it goes on to say, verse 2, Beloved, now are we the sons of the Most High, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. See, people don't see our value. I just made a video on this, on this yesterday. These people don't see our value. For us brothers, our women, they don't see our value. You see? To them, we just a nigga with no ambition. But the thing is this. We got the most ambition of everyone on this planet Earth. The most ambitious men on this planet Earth are the Israelites, the men of the Lord. Let me say that. Because what? We're forsaking our life on this side, you see? And we're shooting for something higher, you see? An everlasting righteous kingdom where we're gonna be God, king, we're gonna be God, kings, and priests on the Earth, man. We're gonna be God, kings. And the priest of the almighty uh, God, Yahweh. It don't get more ambitious than that. You see? Ambition. We, hey, we got ambition in taking the what? A leap of faith. Knowing and understanding that everything the Most High has promised, he's going to bring it to pass for us, man. You see? So they don't understand our value. They, they, don't, they don't understand it because they don't know the Most High. They don't have the vision. They don't have his Holy Spirit. So he hasn't revealed these things unto us. He's only given it to a small number of us, man. You see? And that's why that's why we're continuing on in the spirit of faith. Because we understand what's coming. We know what's coming. It's coming, man. Best believe. You must know that. It's coming, bro. It says what? First John 3 and uh, 2. Beloved, now are we the sons of the Most High, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Do you understand that? Yahweh, hey, one, one of these days, Yahweh is going to crack the clouds. 
He's going to crack the clouds. You see? He's going to come back as a God, man. As the second most powerful being under the Most High. Don't you know that we are going to be bought in that state as well? We're going to be bought back into Godhood. We're going to be bought back into sovereigns as the sons of the Most High. We're going to have our bodies changed. And we're going to be made in the image of Yahweh Shah. This is where this journey is taking us to, man. This is what's about to go down. It ain't meant for us to be in this, this wicked ass, decrepit flesh forever. You see? Fucked up knees. All type of ailments you suffer in the, in, in the flesh. Demons having access to plague your mind and your body. You see? No, we're not going to stay in this condition forever. Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah is about to uh, uh, change us, man. This is what's coming. So 1 John 3 and 2, one more time. Beloved, not are we the sons of the Most High, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. We're going to see Yahweh Shah in that glorified state, man. As he stands on top of that gigantic chariot. You see? And as we look at him, you see, we a hey, the remnant know and understand. Hey, we about to be made like unto him. We're gonna be like he is, man. That's what we're about to be brought into. Being changed. Verse 3 says what? And every man that have this hope in him purifies himself. You see? Even as he is pure. This is the hope that we have in us, man. The hope that keeps us driving forward through the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh You see? This is what keeps us moving forward, man. No one understanding that, hey, what Yahweh Shah is about to bring us into is life. Life, real life, man. Not this shit here. Living paycheck to paycheck. You see? Working fucking 40, 50, 60 hours a week just to pay fucking bills, man. To barely be making it after your check is fucking after your bills are paid. This ain't life for for the Israelites, man. This ain't the this ain't life for the Most High's children. This is hell for us, man. You see, in a society where nothing but wickedness is going on, you see, and if you own anything here, Esau has the power to come and take it away from you. What kind of what kind of shit is that? This is not living. This is not our rest, man. Oh, matter of fact, real quick, let's get that real quick. Well, Micah 2 and 10 says what? Well, Arise ye and depart. And this is what the room is doing spiritually, man. We're departing from this place. We're separating from this place, man. Now, we, we have to be in this place, but our soul is not tied to this shit, man. You see? Our souls are not tied to this shit, man. We're looking for your Yahweh to come and save us. You see? That's the spirit that the remnant is in. To get the fuck up out of here. Eventually. Lord, wouldn't we be a part of that number? You see? So we're arising. Spiritually departing. Mentally departing. Knowing and understanding that everything we have in this place is fucking temporary, man. This ain't the rest the most I promised us. Because it ain't no fucking rest. The most I promised us a rest. Oh, ain't finna be working 40 hour weeks in the kingdom, man. We are in hell. You see? <laughs> this is fucking hell, man. It says what? Uh, uh, Micah 2 and 10 Arise ye and depart for this is not your rest Because it is polluted It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction And that's where two thirds of our people find themselves man They're fully gone in this place Their spirits are tied to this place Hell even Israelites who know they're Israelites Their spirit is still tied to America They haven't fully come into to, 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 to the true understanding of being Israelites They know they're Israelites and that's where it stops they haven't, hey, they haven't, the Most High is not nurturing them and raising them up in the spirit to fully depart from this place, man. 
You see? But the remnant, hey, we're on a different level, man. The Wali Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. We on the we we on the level of getting the fuck up out of here. We're on the level of of accepting the most high's 100 percent true doctrine. You see, in all meekness, man. Whatever the most high says is what goes, that's what we follow. We don't ask no questions. We don't need to. You see? What the hell are we asking the Almighty questions for? He got this thing on lock. All we need to do is what he commanded us to as soldiers. You see? And the remnant, that's what we're doing, man. And when it's all said and done, if we continue to endure, Lord willing, the Most High is going to allow us, allow Yahweh to take us up into that chariot and bring us into everlasting life, as was promised, man. You see? Let's get... Oh, yeah, yeah. Real quick. Philippians 3. It says what? Philippians 3 and 20. It says what? For our conversation is in heaven. Let's get that word for conversation, man. It says our conversation is in heaven. What does that mean? Let's see. Our conversation. Come on. Run it slow. Come on. Strong's G4175. Palitima. Palitima. You see? Palitima, right? It says the administration of civil affairs or, or of a commonwealth, the constitution of a commonwealth, form of government, and the laws by which it is administered, a state commonwealth, commonwealth of citizens. You see that? And it says what? What is our commonwealth? Our conversation of commonwealth is in heaven. That's where our spirit is, man. This is why we say the Lord's Prayer. Let your hey, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This is what the remnant is calling for. You see, for the most high to establish righteous order here on this planet earth. We're not we're not asking for 10, 15, 20 more years in Babylon. We're asking the most high to dismantle this place and set Yahweh Shah upon the throne, man. So the righteous way can be spread all throughout the earth. You see? It says what? Well, for our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. You see that? We are going to get rid of the, the Most High is going to change us out of these bodies, man. That's what the second covenant goes into. Being put into that, uh, having our spirits put into that righteous immortal body and keeping the law, statutes, and commandments in perfection. You see? That's what it is. He's going to change us from this vile body, man. And we definitely need it. We definitely need it, man. <laughs> Let's get the word for vile. Woo, look at that. Strong's G, 5014. Topinosis. Topinosis. Pinosis, right? It says lowness, low estate, and that's what we find ourselves in, man. You see? The angels that kept not their first estate, that's us. Those giants that fell from heaven, that's us. We fell from that glorious estate that Yahweh Shai is in to this low estate that we find ourselves in now. You see? We're going to be changed from this, man, and be brought back into the fullness of being the sons of the Most High again. That means we're never going to die. We're never going to sin. We're going to be completely locked in with Yahweh about Yahweh Shah forevermore. You see, which is going to bring us into the blessings, which is going to allow us to, man, we're going to be balling out of control in the kingdom. You see, but we must be changed first. It's a must. And it, and it, it is going to happen. You see, it is going to happen. So it says what? All right, so it says, let's read it one more time. Philippians 3 and 21. Who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. So we're going to be changed, man. And it's a must. We're not going into the kingdom of heaven with these bodies we got right now. You see, because we have bodies in the heavens waiting for us to be put into. You see? We have bodies in the heavens waiting for us to be put into. And this is why. 
the idea of death shouldn't scare you because we never die. You see? Let's get that real quick. So this is 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1. It says, the eternal and the eternal. Verse 1. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of the Most High, and house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. That's what we got waiting on us, man. An eternal body in the heavens is waiting on us. So this is why you can't let Esau scare you with the thought of death, because we don't die. You see, we don't die, man. We don't die. <laughs> You see, it says what? For in this we groan earnestly, desiring to be clothed upon with our houses, which is from heaven. There it is. You see, that same glorious body Yahweh has, we have one of those waiting for us in the heavens. We have one of those waiting for us, man. Verse 3, if so be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. For we that are in this, this tabernacle, this earthly tabernacle, do groan, being burdened with all the shit that comes with the, the emotions and the feelings that we, we uh, uh, suffer here in this flesh. You see? It says what? Not for that we will be unclothed but clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up in life and that's what it's going to be when it's all said and done this mortality that we're experiencing now you see it's going to be completely done away with once we put once we put on that immortal body man you see verse 5 now he that have wrought us for the self same thing is the most high who also have given us given unto us the earnest of the spirit and that's what we have now that's why we understand these things you see when you go into our word earnest what, it, what does it go into real quick the earnest of the spirit right come on man Strong's G 728 Arabon Arabon. Arabon, right? It says in earnest. Money which in purchases is given as a pledge or down payment that the full amount will subsequently be paid. So the earnest of the spirit is the first down payment, you see, of the promises. That's that's the beginning of it. You see? Us receiving the Holy Spirit is a guarantee. Or a down payment that, uh, yeah, a, a guarantee that we're going to be brought into the rest of the things that the Most High has promised us. You see that? That's what it is, man. That's that. That's what it is. We're being brought <laughs> into what the Most High has promised us. This is the beginning of it, man. And it's just going to continue to elevate the, the further we move down this timeline of prophecy, baby. You see? Now, let's get 1 Corinthians 15, and we'll start at verse uh, 50, 50, what's that, verse 50, it says what, now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High, neither doth corruption inherit the corruption. So we can't go into the kingdom of heaven in these bodies we have. Now we have to be changed. You see, because if we went into the kingdom of heaven in these bodies, man, we'd be right back in slavery before long. <laughs> because we can't be perfect in this flesh. You see, this flesh is sin, uh, exceeding wicked. You see, so that's why we have to have those righteous immortal bodies. That's why we have to be changed. You see? It says what? Verse 51, Behold, I show, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. And that's what we're coming into. Now, some of us are going to be put to death to be uh, to fulfill prophecy, whether that be beheaded or however the most I see is fit to do that, but it's all for his glorification. 
But like Yahweh Shai said, man, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So it's not it's not even like we we actually die. You see? If you have to pass from the flesh, know and understand you're gonna be upgraded, man. This is a, this is this is something that you have to understand. And all of our righteous forefathers understood it. That's why they were able to do what? Take horrible and grievous deaths. Because they knew that this ain't our final, this ain't our end all be all. The most I promise to make us gods again, and that's what it's gonna be. It says what? Verse 52. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, the trump shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. That's what it's all about, baby. Being changed. Finally, man. Finally being able to do what the most I told us to do in perfection. You see? Never going off again. Never having another wicked thought again. You see, just being completely righteous all day, every day. You see? It says what? For this corruptible must put on incorruption. And this mortal must put on immortality. This is the journey that we're on, man. We're on a journey to immortality. You see? Verse 54. So then, so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. No more death amongst the Israelites, man. You see? No more death amongst the Israelites. That's what's coming. You see? <laughs> No more dying of heart attacks. No more being gunned down in the streets. You see? No more stillborns and having miscarriages. No more dying from all these type of different diseases and all this shit, man. That's that's gonna be left here in Babylon. You see, the, the concept of death for the Israelites is gonna be left here in Babylon the Great, man. You see? And when we go throughout the earth and put, put to death all the rebels. You see? It says what? Verse 55. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? You see that? O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. You see that? We die because we can't keep the laws in perfection. You see? Because what is sin? Sin is the transgression of the law. And what are the wages of sin? The wages of sin is death. This is why we die as a people. It won't be that way once we're brought into that second covenant. You see? So that lets us know that we're not in the second covenant. Because if I go out here and walk in front of a bus right now, guess where my ass going? Back to the spirit world. If you go out here and jump off a 50-story 50 uh, 50, uh, story building, guess where you're going? Back to the spirit world. You see, under the second covenant, you see, when we have those new bodies, we won't be, up, we, we won't be able to die. You see? And that's something that's not that, that we are not partaking in right now. <laughs> it says what? Verse 57. But thanks be to the Most High, which giveth us the victory through our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. And that's what it's all about, man. That's what we have the victory through. Yahweh Shah gives us the victory. Our faith in Yahweh Shah is what allows us to have the victory. You see? It says what? Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast unmovable always abounding in the work of the lord and this is why we have to continue to push and endure we have to continue to put up these videos we have to continue going to highways and byways each and every uh, uh weekend you see because our work you see is not in vain man we're going to be rewarded for this man and a part of that reward is being made into your Shai's image it says what for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. So keep pushing because we have something greater coming. Don't let the fucking cares of this world weigh you down. Don't let the fucking the, uh, hardships and trials of this world weigh you down, man. Let it fuel you to understand the AA. Let it fuel you to push harder to get the fuck you, uh, to push harder to get the fuck up out of this place. Use it as, uh, 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 as fuel, man. If I keep doing this, I'm going to be rewarded for it. Every time you put up a video. Every time you want to how it's about you do your read, do your fasting, do your praying, do your study. You see? We're gonna be rewarded for all this, man. For ministering unto the saints, for making our body a living sacrifice, for doing as your how about Shimmy how has commanded us to do with all faith in your how shot, man. And we're gonna be brought into everlasting life when it's all said and done. So continue to fight, continue to endure, 
because we have greater coming, man. You see? Thus saith the Bible, thus saith Yahweh Bashmi I was shot. And so with that, I'm going to end it by giving all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rekakwadash. A double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful of Le'akim out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa, Ababa, Ba.